talking about beginnings and endings. Stories always have beginnings, like... Once upon a time, there was a handsome young prince. And endings like... And they all lived happily ever after. And between the beginning and the ending is the middle. Hello, Wilf. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hello, Mrs Robinson. Biff and Chip won't be long. But why don't you go up and see Kipper? <coughs> Hello, Floppy. How are you feeling, Kipper? Yucky. Shall I read you a story? We've read all my books. Want me to make one up? Oh, yes. Uh, you could call it... Floppy Finds a Juicy Bone? Teddy's Big Adventure. OK. One day, Teddy was walking through the forest when suddenly... Uh... Suddenly what? A dragon appeared. Was Teddy frightened? Of course! But he climbed up a tree. Ooh, what happens next? Uh, um... You can't leave Teddy hanging in a tree. How does the story end? Uh... Would you boys like a drink? Oh, yes, please. I'll come and get them. But you haven't finished the story! Oh, no. Let me tell you my story now. Floppy finds a juicy bone. One day, a handsome dog named Floppy found a bone. <coughs> but it belonged to his friend Andy. I don't like that ending. I'm going to begin again. One day, a handsome and brave dog named Floppy <laughs> found a juicy bone, but the bone grew wings and flew away. Nope, back to the beginning. One day, a handsome and brave, intelligent dog named Floppy found a Huge, juicy bone. <clears throat> so he ate it and he lived happily ever after. Now, that's my kind of ending. Tell me another story, Wilf. Uh, one day, Kipper, Teddy and Wilf were walking in the forest. And me. I do walking. When suddenly, a giant appeared and captured Teddy. <gasps> oh, never. Hello. Feeling any better, Kipper? Yes. Will's telling me a story. Lucky you. We'll see you later, then. So, what happened to Teddy and the giant? Uh, uh, they lived happily ever after. Don't be silly. That can't be the ending. Why not? Teddy would never leave me to go and live with a giant. All right, then. Um, uh... Why don't you know how it ends? I wish he did. I want to know what happens. Oh, 
I wish I didn't keep wishing. Teddy! Teddy! Teddy, where are you? I'm not letting him take him. You've got to. That's how my story starts. Hand him over, Nee Nibbler. <gasps> what doing they to you? They shrunken you. Why did he call me a Nee Nibbler? That's my name for little people. <laughs> I made it up. <laughs> what happens next? Kipper and Wilf followed the giant to his house. I'm in the story too, you know. Nautiful knee nibblers, shrinking things that don't belong to them. Three weeks I'm knitting this wonderful jumper. And now it's too bigsome. I'm never letting those knee nibblers get hold of you again. <gasps> Teddy! Oi, be gone for. I'm aftering you. Whoa! Whoops! Ah. Come here, knee nibblers. Ah. Run for it! Ah. It's a great story, isn't it? It's a bit scary. <sighs> what happens next? Uh, Kipper and Wilf found a place to hide. Good. Where? Uh, in um, a teapot. A teapot in a forest? I'm not jumping into a teapot. OK, then, Kipper. Uh, a hollow tree trunk. <laughs> Knock some naughty for knee nibblers. Oh. This is the best story I've ever told. How does it end? I don't know, but I really like the beginning. Oh! I think we're going backwards. What did I say? Oh, this is near the beginning of the story. I'm never letting those knee nibblers get hold of you again. <gasps> Teddy! Oi, be gone for. I'm aftering you. Whoa! Whoops! Ah. Come here, knee nibblers. Ah. Ah. Is there a happy ending, Wilf? I don't know. Maybe the ending should be happy because there's a sad beginning. Oh, no! I want to get to the end! But I don't know how to! Stop talking about the beginning! You're right! Stop! I've got to think of an ending. If he doesn't come up with one, we'll never get out of here. Uh, um, I think I've got it. Fast forward, please. The giant had got mixed up. He was looking for his own teddy, who was, of course, much bigger. Yes! So, said Wilf, who was rather clever, if we find the giant's real teddy, we can do a swap. Great! So, where is he? Uh, let's think. The giant's teddy was in a space rocket flying to the moon. Not the moon, Wilf. It's too far away. Oh, OK. The giant's teddy had gone to be a pirate. No, teddies are too kind to be pirates. All right. Uh, the teddy was... Uh, uh... Just keep it simple, Wilf. In the rubbish bin. The giant had thrown him out by mistake. Yeah, that's good. Oh, got it. Now what? 
They knocked on the giant's door. Teddy, you're back. We've come to do a swap. Well, I never son. You haven't shrinked him after all. <laughs> So, everyone lived happily ever after. I like this ending. Me too, Sam. The key's glowing. We're going. Thank Bye. you. Will's been telling me a great story all about a giant. Oh, what happened? Well, the giant chased us through the forest because he'd thrown his teddy in the bin and we nearly hid in a teapot, but Will... Hang on! That doesn't make sense! Let me start at the beginning. One day, Kipper, Teddy and Wilf were walking through the forest. Oh, why does he always forget me? When suddenly a giant appeared. He looked very sad and was unhappy. OK, Biff, you've got to think of a crazy beginning. One day, Kipper woke up and his bed had turned into a giant banana. <laughs> <laughs> she might have made it a bone. My turn. Funny. Think of a funny middle, Chip. A monkey jumped out of the cupboard. <laughs> and ate the banana. <laughs> <laughs> and jumped back in the cupboard. Spin, I want to do the ending. Happy. No, Kipper didn't have a bed. Oh. So Mum and Dad bought him a new one. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Happy endings are the best, aren't they, Teddy? <laughs> Today, we learnt all about endings. And beginnings. It was brilliant! Totally! Although it had its scary moments. So what happens now? The end! Magic key. 